Today, uh, I'm going to touch on a real important subject. Today, man, we're going to talk about sun protection and safety vests. Uh, first off, uh, safety vests, real important, man. You know, I keep mine on. I got a couple of different colors I use. I also got a couple of jackets with, uh, with, the, with the strips that are uh, sewn into the jacket. You know, and that's those are too cold weather when it gets when the weather gets cold. I'll wear those jackets, but normally I keep my safety vest on. I don't know the attitude of drivers nowadays is you know hurry up and go, and uh, you see it a lot at the at the fuel islands and a lot of times at some of the uh, some of the customers. You know, you got guys that get loaded or they get fueled. And man, they crank those trucks up, and man, you know, it's it's like a it's like a drag race, you know, to get going. And uh, sometimes, you know, you have a guy walking across the yard or walking in front of the fuel island, you know, you jam it in gear, you know, you don't even see that guy, you know, you can get clobbered, man, you know. And I've almost got ran over a couple of times myself, man. And a lot of times, you can't help but get emotional, you know. You want to, you know. You know, it's like you want to, you know, jump on the guy's uh, step and, like, you know, tell him a thing or two. But, you know, like I said, uh, you know, you got tunnel vision, man. You're in a hurry. You're trying to get out of there. Um, so one way to prevent that is, hey, man, put on a high visibility safety vest. I mean, they're really cheap, man. They're like, I don't know, I got this one for, like, I think I got three of them, and they were, like, eight bucks each. I got a little brother, he drives for J.B. Hunt, and uh, he told me of a security guard uh, that stepped out from between two trailers, and there was a guy driving a yard goat, you know, around the yard, and when this lady stepped out from between these two trailers, there's no safety vest, and the guy's going full speed, and he just, he hit the lady and killed her. So they had a mandate for them to wear a safety vest everywhere they go. You know, I kind of, when I when he said that, it made a lot of sense to me, you know. Uh, I've stepped out from between two trailers, man, and, and you see a truck zooming by, you know, the guy never sees you, so it made it made a lot of sense. So after that, you know, I said, you know, I'm, I'm just going to make it a, 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 a habit of mine to, um, to just wear a safety vest all the time, irregardless. Like right now, it's the summertime, you know, these things, they can get pretty hot, you know. In the truck, I'll probably take them off, but uh, normally I just keep it on. You know, I've got a little pocket here for my uh, for my MP3 player, so I pretty much keep that. You know, that's a that's a handy thing. So another thing we need to keep mindful of is sun protection. Um, me myself, I keep my sunglasses on in the daytime. You know, it serves two purposes. One, it keeps the UV rays from you know developing cataracts in your eyes and also you know during sunrise and sunset you know the, the sun's like right in your windshield and, and that glare you know it can hide a lot of things you know like uh, traffic lights and cars oncoming cars if you're on a two-lane highway or it can hide the visibility of a car coming towards you and you know God help you man there's a car drifting in your lane or maybe a car passing from the opposite direction you won't have no time to react if, if the sun if the sun glare if the sun is glaring in your eyes also um, you, you know you, you, sometimes when you got the sun on this side of you you know uh, coming through the window you know a lot of a lot of drivers and me included uh, tend to hang our hang our hang our arms on the window or on the door seal and uh, you know a lot of times your, your, your arm is just sitting right there in, in the direct sunlight and uh, I mean recently I've heard of guys who develop cancer cancer spots or uh, cancer tumors on their arms from you know drivers 
from 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 your from your arm just hanging, you know, right on the door seal, right in the sunlight. And on top of that, I don't know about you, but I, it tends to tan one of my arms. So I got a one arm darker than the other. So a way I learned to defeat, defeat that is uh, I bought a sleeve, um, or I got a sleeve. Uh, uh, here's, a, here's a little picture of it right here. Um, I bought a sleeve. I bought a sleeve to kind of protect my arm from the direct sunlight. Um, this particular name brand is Copper Fit. Real cheap, man. I got it out of Big Five for like uh, got it for like six ninety nine, um, and it seemed to cut down on the uh, on on the on the sun. You know, the intense sun. You know, beating down on my arm. I see all the basketball players wearing them on the court, and uh, so I decided, hey man, why not, man? I know you guys probably know this, but you know, try to use, try to utilize your sun visors also. You know, kind of cut down on the sun glare. Uh, these things are really helpful. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, I hope you uh, take these tips to heart and, and utilize them in your everyday activity uh, while you're driving the truck, guys. And be safe out there. Uh, you know, get plenty of rest uh, and know your limits, man, out on the road. Okay, this is Mike. I'll see you guys later. Peace.